So Nantian Institute is uh, a higher degree provider. The aim when this was set up was to become a university, but a university inspired by Buddhism. Which is about caring for others. It's about taking a mindful approach to learning and teaching. What makes Nantian Institute unique? I think there's a number, basically everything about it. It's the the link to a functioning for Guangshan temple, but also the link to the federal government recognised national accreditation system, so it's a nationally recognised MA. We started with a master's course in applied Buddhist studies. Then from there, we've introduced a master's course in health and social wellbeing. Now, at the same time, we've set up an English language college which at the moment runs in our Sydney campus. Applied Buddhist Studies is the name, it's a unique name in the world given to the course here. In my view, it's separate from just the pure academic study of Buddhism, which is what a, a large university would do. And it has a factor, uh, a, a layer which is more practical. The Applied Buddhist Studies courses appeal to people who feel that they want to know more about Buddhism but don't know where to start. And it's a very good way for marshalling resources and for people to see what the three main traditions are and how to approach them. But then some people come after years of practice and they, they want an academic tone. They've done initiations or they've done practices with people and they want to add the other side. We've introduced a master's course in health and social wellbeing that takes these Buddhist principles, I guess, and applies them in a different area to um, people's health and well-being, and, and also the health and well-being of organisations. We do talk about the way medicine and our medical system and our, our health system in this country operates, so that we're not just looking at the mechanisms of disease or illness, we're looking at what is it that actually makes people well. So it's about the social determinants of health. How does poverty affect our health? How does spirituality actually make you well? So a lot of our students are counsellors. Some of them work in community welfare. A lot work in health positions or roles where they feel that they interact a lot with people and need to know a little bit more about how people function. Our courses are very diverse, um, very interesting, very engaged. Yeah, we love them. At the English Language Centre, we have students from all over the world. So you'll get a chance to learn grammar, your reading, writing, listening and speaking skills. But you'll also learn how to communicate with Australian people, people with different English accents and people from all over the world. I think the biggest misconception our students have is that they have to be Buddhist to attend. And that's not the case, anyone can come here. I think also students tend to think that we're a religious university and it's not that at all. What we are talking about here is a philosophy of learning and a philosophy of, of living your life. It's, it's certainly not about a religion. We can see we're inspired by the connections with Buddhism, but we're not trying to convert people to Buddhism, if you like. The aim of all our courses is to show that some of these ideas can be reinterpreted today and have um, pretty far-reaching consequences. I think people also think that because we're fairly small and fairly new that they won't get the quality of education. And I think in fact the opposite is true in that we have high quality teaching staff who've come from other very well-known universities because they believe in the philosophy of, of Nantian. The education that we're looking to do is modern, is connected with our community, so it's relevant to jobs and careers, but it also has this sense of mindfulness behind it. I think we make it all about the student and all about the learning. When you come to university, you want to be sure that you've got not just an experience that I've got to cram all this information into my head so I can get a piece of paper, but so that I actually really know what learning is all about. And that's the beauty of an institution like this.